Hi guys, welcome to the IDS Sports Desk, live from Assembly Hall here. I'm Robbie Howard, alongside Nathan Brown, here recapping IU's 83-68 to victory in an exhibition game against University of Southern Indiana. First exhibition of the year, first chance to see the new look Hoosiers. And it was a guy who we saw last year as a freshman take a big step forward tonight with 20 points, and that'd be Yogi Ferrell. Yeah, Yogi really, you know, came out tonight as the clear leader of this team on the floor, um, only a sophomore, a lot much, much improved with his shooting, um, especially beyond the arc. He was 6 for 15 from the field, but 6 for six for 10 uh, from behind the three-point line, um, especially in the first half, just really, really looked like he had by far the most pure stroke out there. Um, also added two free throws, uh, both in the first half, to go for 20 points at career high. Yeah, and that was something Crean said a little bit in the post game. He said that he thinks Yogi needs to get a little more than two free throw attempts in the game, saying that he expects him to drive a little more and, and also wants him to get a little more on, on the rebounding action. And someone who did get in on the rebounding action is Troy Williams, who had a double-double tonight. He did. Um, he was four for, 12 for the, uh, 4 for 12 from the field, added 10 rebounds, like you said, two offensive and 10 defensive um, one for two from the three from the free throw line uh, to go with his ten point the the only Hoosier with the double double on the night really really looked strong driving the basketball very explosive um, had a couple solid dunks and a couple uh, near ones here and there um, ended the first half with a nice one hand slam as the seconds ticked off the clock um, really really looked like an impact player to come for the Hoosiers uh, especially coming off his hand injury that uh, was padded and wrapped up a little bit this game. He said something that I thought was kind of funny in the post game. He said it was amazing how much better he was with two hands instead of one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. usually when you play with basketball with two hands, you're a lot better. Mm -hmm. uh, Noah Vonley came close to putting up a double-double tonight in his first performance in IU uniform. He had nine points, 12 rebounds, six offensive, six defensive. Seemed like USI's head coach every time Noah Vonley got a rebound there in the, the first half. He seemed like he kept encouraging his team to try to box him out. They just really struggled with that pretty much the whole night as you know Vonley led the Hoosiers in rebounding tonight. Um, he also connected on a three-point attempt. He was 4 of 8 overall from the field. Uh, struggled a little bit from the line. He was 0 of 5, but Crean said in the postgame, he said that'll improve. They'll all improve with their free throw mm -hmm. shooting. Yeah, that was something that they definitely noticeably struggled with in the first half. Um, it's finished 18 for 31 for the game, which you know isn't great. Um, let's, let's see, that's uh, if I can find a stat here. 58% uh, from the team in an exhibition game, not that big of a deal, especially against USI. Crean said that in the post-game press conference that they've been shooting a lot of free throws, um, fatigued in practice, but not a lot in general compared to everything else. You know, when you've got six freshmen that you're really trying to, um, you know get used to the speed of the college game, the things that they have to work on. Free throw shooting is probably not the biggest thing that they're working on in practice, but I bet that will increase as time goes on. The other guy that you look at with this team alongside Yogi Ferrell is, of course, Will Sheehy. Sheehy, a little quiet tonight. He had 10 points on 5 of 11 shooting, uh, missed his one shot from three-point land, and as the rest of the Hoosiers did, sort of struggled at the free throw line. He was 0 of 2. He had four rebounds, two assists, Five turnovers, which was a team high, and, and something a little troubling stat for the Hoosiers maybe is that Sheehy had five turnovers and Yogi Farrell had four turnovers, um, leading the team in the, the turnover category there. So perhaps uh, a little unsettling there for the Hoosiers, but um, sort of a, a bit of a, a quiet performance from, from Will Sheehy tonight. It was really the, the freshman in Vonley and Williams and, of course, Yogi Farrell who shined tonight for IU. Yeah, certainly. I mean, the things that you really notice tonight after this win are I use length with Honor, uh, with Noah, and with Luke Fisher, who got a little bit of time, um, still nursing his shoulder injury. Um, you know, their length and explosiveness with you know with Troy Williams in there as well um, will really be something that will aid them this year. I think the biggest thing is that they have to find a couple more guys other than Yogi that can shoot the basketball consistently. He really worked a lot on that this off season, as he said, and you can really see that in his stroke, but he, you know, you can't just have one guy that you can trust shooting baskets, you know, game in, game out, or they're probably gonna struggle. Yeah, you look at IU was nine of twenty one from three point land. Well nine 
Yogi Ferrell had six of those mm-hmm. nine. So a lot of the perimeter scoring tonight came from Yogi Ferrell. And, you know, you talked a little bit about um, the length. that Crean has talked about how he feels Troy Williams, Noah Vonley, they still really aren't playing up to their the full length that they have. They have just miraculous wingspans. And he says that will come as the season progresses. They'll sort of figure out how to use that length. A quick injury update for you guys tonight. Devin Davis did not play. Green said that he was held out for precautionary reasons. He did not specify what the injury was, just said that he felt that Davis needed to be held out just to let his body heal and, and, like I said, for precautionary reasons. And also Stan Robinson did not play either tonight. Green revealed that he has not been cleared to play yet, so it's a little unclear as to when Stan Robinson's um, will return to action for IU. Their next exhibition game comes a week from Monday, which I believe is November 8th, if 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 my my dates are correct. November 4th. November November, November 4th. November 8th is opening day. Yes, against the next exhibition is against Hillsdale College, I believe that Mm -hmm. is correct. Mm -hmm. Uh, And so Hoosiers get one more tune-up before regular season action against Chicago State on November 8th. Yes. Now we've got that all settled. So until next time, guys, see ya. Bye.